1. The Anglerfish, the Lure of Darkness Anglerfish are popular because they represent the signature terror of a deep-sea predator, a creature that bends darkness itself into a weapon. You hear anglerfish, and suddenly your imagination slips below the sunlight, into depths where light is currency and life survives by illusion. These predators grow between 8 inches and 4 feet, depending on species. Their jaws unhinge like a nightmarish trapdoor. Their needle teeth curve inward, ensuring that anything entering cannot escape. But the crown jewel is the esca, the glowing lure that dangles above their face, pulsing like a temptress in the abyss. You imagine an anglerfish drifting through total blackness. Silence. Cold. Crushing pressure. Only the soft glow of its lure flickers like a false star. Small fish approach, drawn by instinct. They see light. They want warmth. They want safety. They get death. This deep-sea predator uses beauty as a trap, turning the void into a hunting ground with one tiny spark. Anglerfish remind you that the darkest places breed the brightest deceptions. 2. The Giant Squid, the myth that became real. Giant squids are popular because they once existed only in sailor stories. A deep-sea predator whispered in fear long before science confirmed its reality. You hear giant squid, and your mind conjures tentacles thick as trees wrapping around doomed ships. Reality is both similar and stranger. Giant squids reach 40 to 50 feet long and weigh up to a ton. They have eyes the size of dinner plates, the largest in the animal kingdom, built to see faint flashes of light in endless darkness. Their tentacles end in serrated suckers capable of tearing flesh. You imagine this colossal creature drifting silently through the midnight zone. It senses vibrations. It moves with eerie grace. Its tentacles unfold like ancient scrolls searching for prey. This deep sea predator hunts deep water fish, sharks, and sometimes battles with sperm whales in titanic duels no human has witnessed in full. Giant squids remind you that myths often begin as truth too large to comprehend. 3. The Gulper Eel, The Living Abyss Gulper eels are popular because they look impossible. A deep sea predator built like a living question mark. You hear gulper eel, and a shiver runs down your spine because nothing about it resembles the familiar. They grow two to six feet long, yet weigh almost nothing. Their jaws hinge open like a monstrous balloon capable of swallowing prey almost equal to their own size. Their bodies taper into thin, whip-like tails that end in bioluminescent bulbs. You imagine a gulper eel emerging from darkness. Its mouth opens wider, wider, wider still, until you can't tell where head ends and hunger begins. This deep-sea predator doesn't chase prey. It engulfs them, swallowing entire fish, crustaceans, and anything unlucky enough to drift into its range. Gulper eels remind you that the abyss does not follow rules of beauty or logic. It follows hunger. 4. The Goblin Shark, the Ancient Nightmare Goblin sharks are popular because they embody the primal aesthetic of a deep-sea predator that evolution forgot to modernize. You hear goblin shark, and your imagination warps into something old, pink, soft, razor sharp. This shark can reach 13 feet long and weighs over 450 pounds. Its skin is pale and translucent, glowing with a ghostly hue. Its snout is long and flattened, a radar for sensing electric signals. But its true terror lies in its jaw. You imagine it drifting slowly, almost lazily. A fish swims by. Then the jaws shoot forward, launching from the skull like a mechanical trap, lightning fast, unnatural, unforgettable. This deep sea predator doesn't just bite, it projects its mouth outward catching prey as if the skull itself is reaching. Goblin sharks remind you that the past never dies. It swims beneath you, waiting. 5. The Viperfish, the fang that hunts the dark. Viperfish are popular because they carry an animal superpower of their own. Fangs so long they curve around the outside of their head. But in the context of a deep-sea predator, what matters more is the brutal efficiency of those fangs. These fish grow only 12 inches long, tiny, delicate, Yet their fangs are over half the length of their head. You imagine a viper fish floating motionless in the dark, bioluminescent photophores glimmering like scattered stars across its flank. It looks peaceful, almost celestial. Then, it lunges, impaling prey with teeth designed not for slicing, but for imprisoning. This deep-sea predator attacks with sudden, violent bursts of speed, using light on its body to lure prey close enough to strike. 
Viperfish remind you that the deep rewards brutality in miniature. 6. The Frilled Shark, the Living Fossil Frilled sharks are popular because they feel prehistoric, a deep-sea predator unchanged for 80 million years. You hear frilled shark, and you see a serpent, a relic, a memory of Earth before mammals dominated. Frilled sharks reach about six feet long. Their bodies are eel-like, flexible, ghostly. Their mouths contain 300 trident-shaped teeth arranged in spiraling rows. You imagine a frilled shark coiling through darkness, swimming with slow undulations. It opens its mouth, and inside are dozens of rows of backward-facing spikes designed to snag and drag prey into oblivion. This deep-sea predator hunts by lunging forward like a snake, swallowing prey whole, or tearing flesh in spiraling motions. Frilled sharks remind you that evolution sometimes gets it right the first time and leaves the design untouched. 7. The Deep Sea Dragonfish, the Invisible Hunter Deep Sea Dragonfish are popular because their Deep Sea Predator superpower is invisibility. Their bodies reflect almost no light. Their scales absorb darkness. Their teeth are transparent. They grow about six inches long, but their terror is disproportionate. You imagine a dragonfish gliding through eternal blackness. You see nothing until its red bioluminescent lights flicker, a color that most deep sea animals cannot detect. It is a sniper using a wavelength invisible to almost everything else. Then it strikes. This deep sea predator uses long fangs, hinged jaws, and light-based ambush tactics. Dragonfish remind you that sometimes the scariest monsters are the ones that cannot be seen. 8. The Fangtooth, the monster in miniature. Fangtooths are popular because they are the embodiment of impossible contrast, a deep sea predator that looks terrifying despite being barely the size of your hand. You hear a fangtooth and you imagine something huge, hulking, monstrous. But these predators rarely exceed six inches. Yet they have the largest teeth proportionally of any fish in the world. You imagine a fangtooth drifting through the midnight zone. Its body is dark, armored with rough scales. Its eyes are tiny, almost useless, because light does not exist here. But its teeth? They are full-length sabers, so long the fish must grow special pockets in its skull to store them when it closes its mouth. This deep-sea predator hunts by sensing vibrations, snapping wildly at anything that moves. It cannot afford mistakes in a world where meals are rare. Fangtooths remind you that the most frightening creatures are not always big. They are simply efficient. 9. The Giant Amphipod the Nightmare Shrimp Giant amphipods are popular because they take something small and harmless, the shrimp, and turn it into a deep-sea predator scaled for the abyss. You hear amphipod and picture a tiny crustacean in a tide pool. But deep below, where pressure is crushing, they grow over one foot long. You imagine one drifting among whale falls, the skeletal remains of giants that sink into darkness. Its exoskeleton gleams like polished pearl, its antennas sweep through cold water, searching for flesh to tear. These creatures survive on carrion, attacking in swarms, stripping meat from bone at terrifying speed. This deep sea predator symbolizes opportunism, survival through relentlessness, not stealth. Giant amphipods remind you that even scavengers can become monsters when the world around them demands it. 10. The Cookie Cutter Shark, The Carving Blade Cookie cutter sharks are popular because their attacks feel surgical, a deep-sea predator that doesn't kill but harvests. You hear cookie-cutter shark and you picture harmlessness. But this shark uses a circular, serrated bite that removes perfect coin-shaped chunks of flesh from anything it encounters. Dolphins, whales, submarines, even humans. This shark grows only 14 to 22 inches long, small, but armed with a mouth that rotates and twists like a coring drill. You imagine a large whale drifting past, the shark darts in, attaches with suction lips, saws through flesh, and vanishes, leaving a hollow wound that bleeds but rarely kills. This deep-sea predator is a parasite, an opportunist, a thief of flesh. Cookie cutters remind you that danger in the deep isn't always about size, it's about specialization. 11. The Lamprey, the Ancient Drain Pipe Lampreys are popular because they carry an ancient horror, a deep-sea predator whose mouth resembles a rotating disc of teeth. You hear lamprey, and you see a creature that time forgot. Lampreys grow 13 to 40 inches long. They lack jaws. Instead, their circular mouth clamps onto prey, scraping, 
drilling, and sucking blood. You imagine a lamprey slithering through cold black water. It senses movement. It lunges. Its mouth latches on like a living vacuum. There is no escape. Not for fish, sometimes not for larger animals either. This deep sea predator is not elegant, not swift, not cunning, but relentless. Lampreys remind you that survival can be entirely mechanical and still terrifying. 12. The Sea Spider, the Silent Stalker Sea spiders are popular because they stretch the definition of a predator, a deep sea predator that looks skeletal, alien, and impossibly delicate. They grow from one inch to over two feet across in deep waters. Their bodies are minimal, almost hollow, because most of their organs exist inside their legs. You imagine a sea spider creeping across the seafloor, long limbs moving with eerie slowness. It pierces soft-bodied animals with a proboscis, sucking nutrients silently, leaving empty husks behind. This deep-sea predator is a ghost. Not loud, not fast, just efficient. Sea spiders remind you that in the abyss, beauty and horror can blend. You followed the trail of the deep sea. Predator through crushing darkness, bioluminescent traps, transparent skulls, and jaws that rewrite evolution. You've seen giants, ghosts, scavengers, parasites, and hunters sculpted by pressures that would crush steel. And now you understand. The deep sea is not empty. It is alive with hunger. Creatures glow in the dark to deceive. Creatures expand jaws beyond anatomy. Creatures freeze time, swallow giants, carve flesh, and sense electricity. Every deep sea predator lives in a world where the rules of the surface no longer apply. Light is a luxury. Food is a miracle. Survival is war. And here is the truth that chills you. We have explored less of the deep ocean than the surface of the moon. Most predators there we have not yet met, not yet named, not yet feared. The ocean hides monsters not because they are rare, but because the darkness swallows everything, even our imagination. The abyss is waiting, and it is watching.